on. Something's out here. Henry. Locate the strange no I don't want to go find the strange noise. Are you kidding me? Where's my fishing pole? Eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to part three of Firewatch. So at the end of part two, we come across the camp, which we assume is the camp of the two girls that we found in the pond in part one. And things get a little dicey because their camp is absolutely trashed. And they leave a note saying that they're leaving and they're calling the cops on Henry, which is our character, for harassing them. So I'm pretty curious to see where the game goes. Remember in part one, our tower got broken into, so we're assuming that's who camped, or trashed these girls' camp. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, go ahead and leave it a like. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And you can always follow me over on Twitch TV at Dozer3187. Let's get into it. Find some more boards downstairs to patch the window. I don't know really finger this. This isn't that hard. Well, I get We're like Smokey and a bandit. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh... You know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest man! Wow, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh come on! I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, a beard. There it is. A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. This lady's crazy. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh, I wonder if she's in his head. Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <clears throat> Cause his wife like to draw him. They're uh, they're steely, cold steely eyes. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need. Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Now we just jumped, what, that was day three? Six days later? Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? 
afternoon. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Uh oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. It's probably the, they're the girls from last week. Two from the pond. You're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, stop talking. At least to me, you should say something to them. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Another six days? Just like that? What the hell? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. She's drunk. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Time? Oh, this is Julia. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Like this call. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What is going on? Now we're just skipping another half a month. Like nothing ever just happened. That was freaking odd. Like north to retrieve supplies. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> so, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just... Oh, oh that's so sweet. that's gonna get talked about. Wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Yeah, actually, look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's, and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's she's there. Oh my God, Henry. And that's it. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Henry, listen. I, oh my God, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her and. You need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiding. I'm out here doing playing with fucking strangers and getting in trouble for peeping on 
girls in a fucking lake. Supply drop, point two miles. Sixty feet to the left. That's quite a uh, Quite the directions. So where is it? Right here. <laughs> Do I gotta take these each place? Day report heading home. Was I not supposed to take that one? Oh shit, how did I put it back? Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? It didn't say anything about that. Oh my god, I just killed somebody. I just took took two fucking boxes of supplies. Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Not all of it, but I don't know. I don't know. Um because remember it was for a lot of people, like five. I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, no, there I took two. I took two out of the three. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel so bad. Didn't she tell me she gets her... You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Holy shit. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? The big fire? The flapjack fire? We're not going to call it Delilah. <laughs> no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? You're gonna tell me. I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Jeez, Lucas. Yeah.
I'm really not though. I stole their supplies. All right, Lucas. Have a good day, man. Thanks, and I appreciate it. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. She's getting intimate. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. I was like, you were destined to see. A bunch of days go by right now. Over two months out here. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. No, I gotta find a bear. <sighs> huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. You two are meant for each other, Thank Lucas. You, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the way to the lake. I don't think we're gonna get the fish. Oh, what are you? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh... I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wow. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? Locate the strange no I don't want to go find the strange noise. Are you kidding me? Where's my fishing pole? eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh god. Oh, there's more beer cans. There's a radio. Yo! That just scared the piss out of me. Henry? Are you there? Oh, we just got fucked up. What happened, Henry? I just damn near jumped right out of my chair. I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? I got chills from that. Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow, maybe. Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where north. Saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Like I'll, right there. Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you? Are you 
you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Really? I just got my ass kicked. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but this goes back to that stranger we saw at the beginning of the game. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head, don't... Ron got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out for out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in the Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish he would have been there. I guess he must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos in Spanish and Professionals is Italian. Oh, Amigos is Spanish. Professionales is Italian. You know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I'm the fuck is this? Buddy. You got it, boss. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. Uh, an emergency landing after a murder in first class. So this is just some... Some fucking book. Old sweater. University of Eastern Colorado. Okay, shit is real. Alright, we gotta go right. We gotta go this way. Should have taken a picture of that fool. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. How am I supposed to get through the gate? Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Nice. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. Look for control, controlled burn south of Ruby River. Campfire small. Where's Ruby River? You want me to go all the way down there?
What the fuck? This is how people get killed, okay? That's how it happens. Crab's like the slowest climb ever. I right, want to go left. Yeah, let's go left. Pretty much, we just gotta get back to our lookout. Go from there. Oh no, I'm supposed to go left there. Dirt. I kind of want to know what is going on, man. Uh, all right, keep following this. Take a right, right up here in some little trail. I wonder if that's the spot where you gotta go up. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Okay. Say, boss? Okay. Gotta go through the cave. I don't like this way. This one took me up that trail where that guy was, like, watching me the one time. yelling in the cave. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's 
It's not like you can just call the police. You think? I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're or he's right. out here playing as the woods people. Like, I don't know how these two are even acting like shit's fine. Shit is not fine. wonder if I'm going to get like back towards my tower and shit's going to be all fucked up. Flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, so we just need to keep going south. Oh. I gotta go. There's nowhere to cross except for this thoroughfare trail. Hopefully, that updates my map. Oh, there is marsh down here, though. Hmm. I think we're going to take the thoroughfare, thoroughfare trail. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go yet. Shit, can we jump across this? Guess we're gonna... Really wish the powers that could be issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get, get a hold of you the right way. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fifi's. Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. 
are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. One chance to die. The first book in Crime by Number. So somebody likes these Richard Sturgeon books. Another Richard Sturgeon. And... Not a Richard Sturgeon. Fine firefighters and old scout can't pass the controlled burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Down well, to the I'm left. Extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. What about the one who frickin' hit the tree? Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um... Well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Is this the camp we need? Sure is. Camp Navajo. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. No, going off plan is never good. Alright, so maybe if I head down to my left, follow it this way. Nobody's left here. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? That boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? 
Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Where are we supposed to go from here? I mean, we're at the old scout camp. I find firefighters in the old scout camp. I mean, it says past controlled burn. The controlled burn was up here, so maybe I gotta go back towards Cottonwood Creek. Let me, uh. Let me head down here quick. Oh, there's an axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Squad boss Grant Carson. Okay. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. Told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site. Even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Uh, next few days dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? That's what we want to know. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. They're studying you and me. I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. <laughs> I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Saw, I got fucking beat I down. Saw. Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Return to Wapiti Meadow. Alright, to the meadow we go. That's all the way up there now. It's gonna be dark soon. And you want me to go all the way back the way I just fucking came. This is ridiculous. This is 
chick's out here doing nothing. Cut a tree down. That'll do. Oh, this shit sucks. Are you there? Uh oh. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? I'm scared. On my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. And what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed part 3. Pretty intense. We found some dude's radio. And also a clipboard of mine and Delilah's recorded conversations. We got beat in the back of the head things are really starting to heat up i appreciate you guys watching if you like the video go ahead and leave it a like if you want to see more like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys back here for part four